Okay, in this video, I'll get the hash rates for my 3060 Ti app. You can see I've got the 3070 Ti on top and the 3060 Ti on bottom. I do have the fans set for both of them at 75% throughout, just because the 3070 Ti does get a little bit hotter with that GDDR6X memory. The 3060 Ti, however, runs extremely cool, and it is a ASUS Strix model, and it has Hynix memory, which becomes important with the ergo hash rate. So the first one I'll cover off here is the Ethereum hash rate. It gets about 45 to 46 mega hash and it's running at about 137 watts on the card. I have the core clock locked in T-Rex 24.7 and I locked it at 1500 megahertz. For the memory clock I have it at plus 1275. This card will crash at 1350 on almost every algorithm. So I backed it down a little bit. The power limit I'm running on Ethereum is 60%. Fans are set at 75%. And I've got it locked on an LHR at 73.5. So overall, not too bad. Okay, for Ravencoin on the Kapow algorithm, you can see it's getting 29.5 mega hash, and that is at a pretty steady 165 watts. The core clock is set at a positive 160, and the memory clock, again, set at a positive 1,275. Again, if you go to 1,350 on this card, on Ravencoin, it will crash everything. The power limit is set at 69%. And again, the fans are just held at 75% throughout, and that's mainly for the 3070 Ti's benefit. Okay, so Ergo or Auto Lycos was in fact the trickiest one for the Hynix memory, and I might actually make a separate video on that all by itself. You can see the little red box off to the right-hand side. If I didn't do the LHR tune, this thing would sit at about 85 to 90 mega hash, which is extremely low. But you can see that I've got that dash dash LHR dash tune setting. The 92.5 is the 3060 Ti, the 97 is for the 3070 Ti. So for the 3060 Ti, first I tried 80, that was good, then I went to 85 to 90, 95, and then at 95, that's when it started to hit the LHR. So at that point I dropped it down to 92.5 and then it ran nice and stable without hitting the LHR lock. So this gave me a 151 mega hash per second at 131 watts and for this it is a negative core clock of 200 a positive memory clock of 1325 power set at 55 percent and fan set at 75 percent i did try locking the core clock it definitely helped out with the power draw but it also reduced the mega hashes slightly. So I could get it down to about 117 on the watts, but that would drop it to about 140 mega hash. So I figured I'd just put this one out there as sort of the best result I can get. And like I said, I might actually make a separate video on just how to do that. And the final one, Octopus or Conflux, that I did the results for here is a 56 mega hash, 56.2, whatever. The power draw is 163 watts. And for this, very similar to the Ravencoin settings, positive 165 on the core, positive 1,275 on the memory, power limit set at 68%, fans again at 75%. Keep in mind, this is all on Windows. If you're using Hive OS, your settings will be different. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.